So Titan Extruder and Titan Extruder. What is the difference between a clone and the original? Here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notifications button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. So the Titan Extruder. This is the Titan Extruder that came with the FL Sun QQS Pro and it's my very first Titan Extruder clone. I never used a Titan Extruder before, so I was very excited to see what this thing can do. It has a gear ratio in it from seven to one, and it is diff way different than I used to see on the Ender 3 and also on the Prusa Mini or different other 3D printers that I have. Sometimes I'm not really happy with the print results. I get some artifacts, some weird over extrusion under extrusion it's not consistent so for that reason i thought well let's go and do a upgrade to a original e3d titan extruder so and here it is and we are going to compare in this video these two with each other before i'm going to install the original in the FLSN QQS Pro. That is going to be a separate video. So this is just to compare the two before I'm going to install it. So now let's compare the two. This is the original part and this is the cloned version. So the difference that I already see is how much parts you have here versus that I have here. One of the things that I do see, I've got here four screws, three long ones and one shorter one. Here I have only two long screws and one shorter. That is already one of the things that I see that is different. Do need to say that on the stepper motor here, the gear is already installed because there is here a little bearing that I don't get off. But here the gear is not installed and there is, I think, also no bearing. E3D have another solution for that. Let's compare the levers. So here are the two levers. This one is from E3D and this one is from the cloned version. And as you can see, it's different. Working is the same, but there are some differences. As you can see, this part is here a huge piece bigger, like here and also when you can see it here, this is just a bearing. And here, the clone version have, has here a little groove in it. Looks like it. When we look to these sides here for the spring, there is no bump. There's nothing there. And here we have a little bump. Also, the hole is bigger. As you can see, the hole is a little bit bigger. So, difference there. Also, when we look to the springs, this is the spring from the cloned version. This spring is thinner. I mean, yeah, I don't know if this is really a test. But here is more tension on it than here. I'm right-handed. I need to push really hard to get the spring on tension. But here, with my left hand, it's it's easy to squeeze it. So I think that's, that that is a difference as well. Also the, the little screw, this is from the clone version. This is from the E3D kit. It, it's to, to mount it to the stepper motor. And then the filament guide. This is, this is a standard one, but I see that E3D has put here two different one. Uh, one is for 1.75 millimeters and the other one is for 2.85. Then now you know why there are two in the package. So now we are going to look to the big gears. Is there any difference? Well, let's check the bottom. Basically, they look the same. It's, it's not 
totally looking the same. Because if you look here, here it's closed and here it's empty. So the hole is going to be used to add one screw all the way through to attach the extruder to the stepper motor. For that reason, we have here one extra screw, which is not here, because here no screw is going inside. Some other thing, also when we are going to look here, I hope it is going to be very clear on the camera. So here we have normal teeth and here we have grub screws or this is full plastic and here they did some reduction. Then we look to the adjustment screw. So here, this is the part where you can adjust your tension on the filament or on the gear. So this is from the cologne version. This is all plastic. Here you have then uh, somewhere a screw inside and then you have here your nut. And here you have a metal screw. It's one piece and then you have your nut. They are both not the same length. So there is also a difference. Then we are going to take a look at the part for the Bowden tube. It will fit, as you can see. So this is the part where your Bowden tube is going to be pressed in. Well, here there is a coupler with metal grips on it. So uh, when you put your Bowden tube inside, it will grab firmly. So that is nice. However, E3D has a different kind of system and it is smaller. So this one looks very nice and well machined. I don't think this, that this part is bad. So this hole that they have used here is tinier than the one that they have here on this side. That is the part for putting your Bowden tube inside. So then we have the, the plastic brackets. As you can see, they almost look the same However, you can already spot the differences. If you don't see it, well, I can show it like this. This is a little bit smaller. This is not as high as this one. And also when you're looking at here, the, the, the part where your nut is going to come, here it's short, here is it a bit longer. So you're on the back side, messing nut for the screw here as well but here you see they use a different kind of method they just press it inside of there and here they screw it in so here is also more quality visible we have the cover plate also here you see some differences as well here this is thin this is a little bit thicker but they use the same thing as they did on the other parts as well it looks like this, this one looks a little bit smaller. And also here we have the other part, the visible part, E3D on it. And also the extrude direction, but you can see it well. And then we have the stepper motors. What are the differences? Well, I, I see that the metal or the aluminum that they are used is here much thicker. You see here the um, plate here this is very thin this is thicker also here the whole bracket is bigger both ways they use normal screws but in general this this one looks nice and also i see that the motor shaft is also much longer if i would install it looks very nice would you say that are the things that I can see at this moment as being a difference. So I hope this video helped you a little bit with spotting the differences between the original E3D Titan Extruder versus the cloned version of the Titan Extruder. It works, but I want to upgrade it for an original, genuine E3D Titan Extruder. If you want to buy the original E3D Titan Extruder. I'll put the link in the description from E3D, maybe several others, I don't know, but it's going to be amazing when I'm going to replace it with the original. So to wrap up this video, if you are using a 3D printer with a cloned Titan Extruder and you are happy with the results, very nice. 
But if you are like me and you want to exchange it for the original, then feel free and order the Titan Extruder from E3D. And you can see me next time installing the Titan Extruder on my Epson QQS Pro. If you don't want to miss out on any, anything, then check what is coming next. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Loy Moses, The Light Feet and Fixum Dude. Guys, awesome. Thank you. If you also want to support this channel as well, feel free to check the Patreon link in the description of this video. And thank you for your support as well. Hey, if you're still watching this video, you are amazing. On the end cut, there's some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're out there, check out the merch in the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video on social media, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sorry, 3D prints. Bye-bye.